And no more stalling. <laughs> I forgot to like cross post that it was live, so I'm like frantically typing. But welcome in. Hope everyone's doing well today. We had Hacker in the Just Starting Soon screen. Thank you for chatting. Um, I was gonna try and do a normal stream today, but I couldn't. I am very tired. But I haven't been live since Friday. Nope. Thursday? Thursday, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I was supposed to stream Friday, but then, I dude, I, I hate this. We're doing sub only because we're not doing a full stream. We have a few things coming up in the upcoming weeks that I'll talk about today, but I've just been like extremely fatigued, like more than normal, and I don't know. I think it's stress, but you know, I'll be fine. Or it could be. <laughs> it could be I'm just playing like Pokemon until 9 or 10 p.m. every night. That could be it too. You missed Thursday stream? That's okay. VOD is always up for every stream and I have my YouTube VOD channel updated as well. <clears throat> so if you can't watch them on Twitch, you can watch them on YouTube if you like YouTube more. Um, but yeah. Nothing really- I'm trying to think. Did anything happen over the weekend? It's weird that it's Tuesday. I think what I want to strive for is... I know that I posted on Twitter that schedule isn't going to be consistent as much. But ideally what I'd like to do... I think I want to change it up to do sub only on Tuesdays. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday normal streams. And then maybe bonus on the weekends. I think that's what I want to try and do. Because I did... Oh wait, there's- I'll talk about the first thing first. So, dude, I'm actually fucking brain dead. <laughs> um, we're still doing- we're doing Meg Esports this month because, you know, we can't let everybody keep their badges for way too long. So, it will be Sunday the 29th. Ignore this, ignore this. I made the graphic yesterday morning and I deadass thought yesterday was Sunday. So, oopsie. <laughs> So, on Sunday, we'll do Meggy Sports Blue Shell only Mario Kart tournament. So, as always, it will be a follower only tournament. Whoever gets top three on Sunday will earn VIP for the month of February. And if you want another chance to earn VIP, you can also click. <laughs> I didn't update the command. <laughs> Uh, whoever makes the best clips for the best for January will get VIP and a $25 gift card. Wow! It's for January, not October. I think Kobobo won for December, so let's see if anybody will actually beat Kobobo this month. Um, anything else? Oh, oh, I did a little leak on Twitter last night because I've been, like, trying to figure out tech and stuff, but... Maybe later this week or next week. I'll have the Wii set up. So Wii Week is... Is happening. <laughs> so hopefully that'll be coming up later this week or next week. Because next week... I have an appointment on the 30th. So that's Monday. And then 31st is Tuesday. And then February is calligraphy. So I think... We'll do Wii Week... I know, we. <laughs> There's so many jokes we can make, but we're gonna avoid them, okay? Um, so we could probably do we starting this week and then next week. So it'll be two weeks of we, so. <laughs> Dude, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah. Like, over the weekend, any day that I'm not live, I'm always editing VODs. And it's so funny watching back older streams. Because I will remember the conversations that I've had with, like, the chatters when I reread the stream or reread the chat messages. And it's so nice seeing, like, old term chatters. I think, Hacker, you said today that you finally got the Sunflower badge. Finally. Let's go. I've been watching for almost a year. I think I've been watching since April. So it's wild to think that some people have been here for a long time, you know. And my hope is with this year... We didn't really talk about goals or anything, but I just want to try and make good stuff. Like, I'm definitely 
Valentine's Day streams are gonna go crazy. I have a few bits planned. I have to prep a few other things because I want to do like a survey type thing similar to what we did for Christmas but for Valentine's so I have to get that set up and then launch beginning of February. But yeah, I just want to make good stuff and have um, not have. I just want make, I want to make sure people have a good time. You know, didn't Issa get their 12 month? They were close. They had an 11 month resub. 11. So they were really close. So I think they started watching in February. Actually, when did they follow? I can see. I'm being nosy. Yeah, Issa's been following since the end of February. So they're one month away. Dude, my hair is gonna be wild. I'm like fresh out of the shower, so this is what my hair- Oh, well, I have like this leave-in conditioner thing and I forgot to put it in. Oops. <laughs> so this is what my hair looks normally. Also, that's the new painting. Go watch the TikTok, please. Okay, enough stalling, enough stalling. Should we play the goddamn game? Right here. Oh, I'm gonna have to put my hair up. It's gonna bother me. I hate seeing, like, see how this side is super frizzy? I don't like it. I think I'll put it, like, half up. Because I just don't like when my hair, like, touches my ears. It bothers me a lot. There we go. Classic. Okay, I'm also playing with uh, my TV audio. Yeah, it's still it's still messing with me how it says only a day playtime. Wait, playtime one day. Oh wait, it pro that probably is right because that means 24, 27 hours. I think I misread it last time. <laughs> Okay, so gentle reminder, if you want to join the cult, you can use your channel points. And we'll make a character in your honor. I think we'll see how far we can get today. My goal is to stream at least two hours. The plan was, I was going to do like a normal stream like Mario Kart today and then cult the lamb after. But then I realized I have to make dinner today. So it's like, fuck. <laughs> Oh, they're old. Okay, so last week I had just defeated Under Deep. I think it's what it's called the Third Crusade. But the only way I could beat it was switching to easy mode. But I, I did switch it back to normal, so we're playing normal difficulty right now. So no fear. I'm not doing baby mode anymore. I just wanted to see if I could beat it on easy, and it would genuinely... It was so much easier playing on easy mode. <laughs> yes, I do cheat. No, I didn't cheat. Everybody voted. And then majority said I could cheat, but I did participate in that vote. <laughs> Dude, so many people are old. We need more followers. <laughs> we need more youngins. Oh fuck, somebody's dead. <laughs> Wag has died. He side 2 7. Oh, do I even have enough like grave sites? I think the problem was I I ran out of space. Oh no, I have a few. Okay, thank god. Look at all look at these poor unfortunate souls. Okay, let's get ready for a crusade. Mm -hmm. 
I think another thing I want to try, I told the idea of I write every single word in the dictionary for like a like a, a series of for like calligraphy streams. And I think I want to do it. I know I said I was going to save it for like a TikTok live, but I don't know if like that'll make sense for my main account. So maybe we'll just do that as like maybe a weekly theme stream here. I don't know. I got to think about it more. We'll ask it during like a normal stream when we have like more people. Mm. Or more people who are like able to vote because like I don't think it's fair to ask during, like, a subway stream. You could do- I could do it on Peace and Art, that's what I was thinking as well. That is something I could consider, like, well, that's something we could all talk about as a group. Uh, I can't do it on Peace and- on the TikTok yet, because in order to go live on any TikTok account, you need at least 1,000 followers. It's kind of bullshit. I mean, like, I can understand why, because, like, you know, they don't want fucking crazy people doing, like, illegal shit on live streams, right? But it still seems unfair. It takes a long time to get to a thousand followers. Like, on my Clips account, I think it took, uh, it took, like, three months, which is really quick. But that's because I had a few, like, videos pop off. Like, I got really lucky. Because I had, like, I've been at around 3,500-ish for, I think, like, six months at this point. It's because the way that TikTok works is, like, you get a video that pops off and then... Unless you have an established base audience, then it's very difficult to gain followers quickly or have more videos do well. So maybe I could do the series on the art channel for Twitch. That way, that way we get like the nice high def channel or the nice high def camera. And then, and then, because I think TikTok was saying hopefully this calendar year they will want launch like a desktop application for streaming. That way you can stream from your PC to TikTok, which they only have that program available to some beta members but you have to get like an invitation code to get it and they only really give it to like partnered creators or um hope oh. okay we good wait i need a demon i need a demon or people who are like part of the tiktok gaming what do you call it not crew but <laughs> I think TikTok gaming was like a subsector to where you could apply if you had this amount of followers and they would give you like a stream key. Because they wanted to try and get like gaming exclusive streamers to the platform. But yeah, I didn't apply because I, I still have the opinion that if you're gonna co-stream, it's only really good if you wanna build an audience, but it's not good for community building because when you ignore your chat room, then nobody's gonna like have fun enjoying the content. Like half of the TikTok streams that you see for streamers specifically are just them sitting at their desk and it's boring as fuck. But what I did see is that I my account for the clips account is eligible for TikTok subscriptions, which I think for TikTok subscriptions you get to watch sub only live streams and then you can have some emotes, but for TikTok lives and I considered it, but I don't know if I can commit to that yet, you know. So I'll I'll think about it. Maybe once I plan more TikTok specific streams. I think the dictionary stream would go crazy on TikTok. I think that concept alone is good. Half of them are scams. Yeah, I know. Where they stall for hours and hours and then just farm donations. It's honestly such like smart content, but it's not good content. And it's like, I don't want to be known for... <laughs> I don't want to be known for bad content. <laughs> Dude, okay, okay. I gotta- Okay, I have to read this out. Sub only. You can't- You guys can't clip. 
I got a comment this morning on a TikTok, and obviously they're fucking trolling. They're trolling, but it was so funny to me. It was the clip I posted this morning about global warming. Global warming. And this guy says, Yo, bro, you should start a Twitch channel! Exclamation point. The Twitch channel, colon. <laughs> oh no, Coke says died! But, obviously they're trolling. They're trolling. But it's so goddamn funny to me. Because it's like, to me, if you're gonna leave, like, a mean comment or a troll comment, you're obviously just a really fucking sad person. And, like, I don't give a shit. Usually, I just troll back. <laughs> like, I don't let shit like that bother me. But it's funny, because, like, honestly, I think stream content is supposed to be mid. It's not supposed to be this extravagant, heavily planned, produced content. Because that's not what streaming is. Streaming, I think, is the most accessible form of content. You usually don't need a lot of money to start doing it. But <laughs> it's just so fucking funny. Yeah, some of the TikToks on the Fortnite one, obviously, they weren't necessarily, like, mean, but a lot of them were, like, really backhanded. And the way to combat any backhanded kind of rude comment is you just have to be, like, overly nice. And I, I pretend to be clueless because if you kind of, if I feign ignorance, then it makes them feel bad for being shitty. Anyway, no stalling. Wait. Oh, fuck, I need three more followers, guys. Can I get three more followers in the chat? <laughs> fuck. I think I have enough followers waiting in the queue. I just didn't want to indoctrinate them yet because we didn't have any redeemers. Any redeemers want to join the cult? Let's hope I have three in this queue. Oh, come on! Fuck! Oh yeah, cause Coke's died! God damn. Thank you for redeeming, Hacker. I'll make the next one for you, cause we have to get two more. I failed to realize that we needed more followers. Okay, well, hmm... If we need more followers, then I guess we should just go into the easy world. World 1. Oh, but it's gonna be like super fucking difficult. Because when you beat it and then you play again, it gets insanely difficult. Good one. <clears throat> oh, that's new. That loading screen? Bottom left? It says summoning. 19. That's new. That never used to be there. Oh, the game did update, I forgot. I had to archive some of my sister's game saves. For like, Bayonetta. Dude, Bayonetta took like, fuck, 10 fucking gigs on the Switch. And I had no clue. Cause since she has her own OLED now, she imported the data to her new console, but she didn't delete it from this old one. Oh shit. I haven't played in two weeks. Don't mind me. Oh, and it's the axe too. The axe ain't is banned. Ooh, that's. Oh, I don't like that. was pretty cool though. Okay, 20% more damage during the day or 10% chance to deal a crit. I'll do I'll take the crit. Oh, I always forget how powerful the axes are. Ooh, plus one blue heart. I've been like itching to stream. 
Because definitely rewatching the VODs reminds me how much fun it is. Because I think a lot of people get disillusioned by what streaming is or what it's supposed to be. But it, it's supposed to be just hanging out. It's supposed to be like having fun. Because if you get too hyper-focused on like analytics or numbers or your sub account, then it's just going to eat you alive. And it's definitely something you don't necessarily understand until you try yourself. Obviously, when you get to a point where you have like a pretty decent platform, then I can see how your sentiment will change. But you should never take advantage of your audience. Or take them for granted. Dude, e am I still on easy mode? <laughs> oh, fuck! I'm a freak. I think I changed it back. <laughs> I was like, why is this so easy? <laughs> I swear I changed it back. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. Now we're actually gaming. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Holy! Uh, mods clip it. That was good. <laughs> okay. Can you guys can subs clip? I'll write down the timestamp just in case so I can clip it myself later. That was fucking funny. Holy! <laughs> okay. Let's see how difficult the game is actually. <laughs> Another thing I'm like trying to work on because my current class that I'm in for college is basically intro to HTML and CSS coding. Oh my god, I am literally so fucking brain dead. So I had an assignment that was due Sunday where I basically had to learn and show an example of 10 different ways to style text through coding. Like, you know how when you like see like text on a website, like if it's like small or like change of size or is this different color gradient. So you can do that all through coding. And my dumbass. Because I was like, oh, instead of just showing the examples, I'm going to format my assignment as like an actual tutorial on how to like actually do the example. So I'm, I tried to make it like a homework worksheet, like you would take home for an assignment. Which I didn't have to do, mind you. I, I just decided to go above and beyond. But my fucking dumbass, I submitted it and I got feedback back on Monday, so yesterday. Okay, reveal the map or increased curse attack damage by 1.5. I hate when I can see that. So I submitted, I got the feedback back yesterday, and the teacher was like, Hey, I gave you full credit because you, like, did amazing, you went above and beyond on this assignment, but you only submitted five examples. <laughs> so they were like, technically you should have only gotten, like, a 50% on this assignment, but since, like, your code was actually pretty good, <laughs> he's like, I'll give you full credit. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Because, like, I was like, did I really fucking, like, not re read the directions right? And <laughs> I was reading back, like, the syllabus of the assignment. And I think the reason why I, for some reason, thought five. Because it said, oh, you need ten examples. But then in all the instructions, all the examples it gave, like, had the number five in it. Like, using a five-point font or using a five-millimeter dash. Like, a hyphen. And I was just like, oh my god, I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> but, because <laughs> I literally, I spent five hours on, an on that work assignment, right? When it should only have taken me an hour. Because I decided to like format it nicely and stuff. But I was, I was so grateful to my professor because I was like, oh my god, I'm literally D1. I'm just clueless. I mean, I've been having more, like, brain fart moments recently. And I think it's just because I've been, like, super tired all the time. He seems nice, yeah. 
My professor for this class has been super nice. Like, anytime I have a question, they're like really prompt with like, because I, I do fully online college. They've been really prompt with like answering emails and stuff. Like, anytime you um, do something wrong with your code, the he will go into like very specific detail. And like, because. Um, ooh! Fire projectile when you swing your weapon, 10 second cooldown, or gain an extra two hearts. Ooh, these are both really good, but I'll take the projectile. Because I don't know how far I'm going to get. Um, but you know the teaching styles where they try to, like, they will grade you harsher on, like, critiques rather than the actual test? Because the main focus is to, like, have you actually learn the curriculum rather than just encourage you to get the right answers all the time. Ooh. A Bane Sword with a chance of poisoning enemies. Ooh. Hmm. If it'll increase my speed and I get poison damage, I think that goes kind of crazy. And I think this club is treated like a sword. Yeah, I see, like, I can click it. Oh, no. I remember this enemy now. Wait, predictions? I forgot. Oh, frick. I only won enough hearts. Oh, no. Come on. Come on, dude. We've beaten this guy before, so it's fine if I don't. should have waited. <laughs> okay, I have no way to heal. And I have no curses left. I think my best bet is just to maintain distance. <laughs> damn. Damn, damn, damn. That's my fault. I got too close. And I was, like, attacking from behind, so I couldn't see the projectile coming out. That was my fault. Eight minute run, not bad. Even at normal difficulty, World 1 isn't that bad. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> but you know what? Plus one follower. We are one more person closer to actually entering Silk Cradle. And we had Hacker Redeem. Ah. And Hacker's a green. Ah, uh, kind of dumb how they only have like one shade of green. Welcome in. May peace be with you. Everybody's hungry. We need to do a sermon right now because it's like 10 p.m. Okay, just in time. I 
wonder what game we should do next for sub onlys once we beat Cult of the Lamb. Because I assume <clears throat> once we beat Silk Cradle, we probably have to defeat the demon that resurrected us. So probably Ooh. like maybe 10 more hours? Depending on if I'm like tryharding or not. Maybe Stardew Valley. I've been I I've been like kind of wanting to play Stardew Valley recently. I would never do it for like a main game. Cause it's not a game that like pushes me to talk. Kinda like this one. Dude, I have so many fucking elderly people. This is not good. They're not willing to work. Okay, let's get some more demons and go on another run. Cause we need one more follow. We need to work quickly. Before everybody dies. <laughs> Lemons yellow. <laughs> How fitting. Let's just keep going. We need one more follower. One measly little follower. Talking about followers, if you're new to the channel, um, follow. And if you're watching a sub only stream and you're not following, um, follow and subscribe with Prime. Easy. And if you're a non-sub watching, you can save your channel points by watching and I will gift you a sub. Ain't no way. Why am I getting the hammer? It's literally the worst. I posted Twitter draft? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Thank you for redeeming, hacker. <laughs> um, if you don't know what's going on, people can use their channel points and I will post a draft. Oh, do I have any juicy ones? Ooh. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Any juicy giraffes? <laughs> okay, okay. I have... Hmm... I thought you said juicy giraffes. Yeah, they are very tasty. <laughs> you know how people like go like this? <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. I don't think we need to do a poll. Or maybe actually, actually, we can do a poll. I have, I have two that we can choose from. <laughs> okay, polls up for a minute. Go vote, go vote, go vote. Pokemon, go to the polls. Should I post a wholesome draft or... It's not drama farming, but it's kind of drama. It's a little bit like... Okay, it's, it's kind of like... What's it called? Subtweeting? Is that what it's called? Where you like talk about a topic passive-aggressively? Or people? It's it's kinda it's kinda drama. Everybody vote. Pokemon go to the polls. Vote, 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 vote. Use your democratic right and Pokemon go to the polls. You have 30 seconds. Everybody's inline reading outside. We do not pro provide water or snacks. Everybody vote. Vote, vote, vote. Okay, okay. <laughs> 
seems like y'all have voted for drama. <laughs> so this one, this one. Um, I, I remember, I'll post it, I'll post it, let me see. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, if you guys want to see it, go follow my Twitter. Go like it, go retweet this tweet, because I think it's a based tweet, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Okay, so if you see the tweet, if you see it, um, I basically wrote this tweet. So, story. Um, <clears throat> I love Casey Tron. I think she's great. I love how blunt she is. But she had this tweet saying, um, basically, men need better role models. That was basically like the like theme of the tweet that she made. And then I replied with, one of my friends said Jordan Peterson or Peterson was his parentheses hero. Because <laughs> no matter if you like some opinions that an individual has, you can't let that overshadow they're like prejudice or bigoted behaviors or opinions. That's why I've come to not like certain creators. That's why I personally don't enjoy like Harry Potter or like Dave Chappelle bits as much because they have their own inherent bigotry, right? But you can choose to consume whatever content or media you enjoy. But just... Anyway, so my reply was, my friend said to me, Jordan Peterson was their hero. And I had to... This was a year ago. But I had to explain to my friend why it's not appropriate to like idolize or put somebody in a pedestal when they when they have certain mindsets that aren't appropriate, in the sense of non-appropriate meaning it's still belittling and minimizing people, right? So anyway, that was my reply. I basically said I had a friend say Jordan Peterson was a hero, and then I had like two debate lords in my replies, and I just ignored them. I ignored him. Casey Tron liked my reply. She actually like I screenshotted that she liked my reply. I was like, I was like, oh my god. Uh, anyway, so I had like two fucking debate lords in my replies to my reply to Casey Tron, right? And I just ignored him. I ignored him because they, one of them was like fucking psychotic. Like they were debate lord like on another level. <laughs> so, cause in my head, it's not good to engage with some. Like you can troll a little bit back. But it's like, it's not worth it, especially with fucking randos on Twitter, because, you know, they don't have a life, they don't give a fuck. And they'll just say, like, the most vile shit, right? So I just don't engage. So anyway, my tweet that I just posted is an allusion to that. Because debate lords, I have another draft where it's like, just ban all debate lords. <laughs> They're literally fucking crazy. Okay, anyway, go like the tweet. Go retweet it if you agree with me. Okay! Back to the motherfucking game, y'all. <clears throat> I almost clicked on the YouTube scene. Uh-oh. Okay, I don't know how well this run is gonna go if I have the hammer. But I will try my best. Okay, that went pretty well. It's gonna be a lot easier with the slower enemies because obviously they move slower. Who knew? But this weapon is not gonna be good for the guys that have knives. See, look, because it, it, once you like dodge, it cancels out the attack animation for the hammer. All we need is one more follower. One more follower, Chatters. Oh, come on. How did that not hit? Will I ever play Squid Game again? Um, <clears throat> a million subs and I'll do it. I would play it again, but I just feel like I'm not gonna enjoy it. Like, it wasn't that fun for me to play it, because I don't like shooters. Even though it's not really a shooter. Probably not. <clears throat> Increase curse damage attack by 1.25, or gain an extra 2 hearts. 
Since the weapon I currently have already does pretty substantial damage, I'll take the extra two hearts because I'm going to need them. Because this run is going to consist of more like timing, which I'm still learning how to do. Usually for most like sub goal streams, there'll be one offs. The only reason why we're doing Cold to the Lamp fuck, more often is because like I actually like the mechanics of the game. See, look, these guys move. Come on, give me a follower room. Easy. Ooh, I can buy a follower. That's also pretty good. Wait, what? The icon had like a person on it, meaning you usually can buy followers here. I got lied to. That means I'm probably gonna have to do another run to get another follower, and then somebody's gonna fucking die because we only have boomers at my cold site. Sad day. I'm gonna go home, cry dad. Oh! No! Can I go back? Oh, I can. I saw a gift that I missed over here. Easy. Maybe we'll randomly find a follower. Oh wait, I have to defeat the boss and that's why I get a follower, for sure. I think. Or I get like a heart thing. But honestly, I don't I don't know if I'll even get that far. Cause this weapon is not it. than me. Okay. I don't like daggers, but it's probably better than the fucking hammer. I need to curse less. I keep forgetting. <gasps> but Data was died! Fuck. I mean, Frank. Ooh, Fever replenishes fully when entering a new combat room or gain an extra heart. I'll take the extra heart. That means we have to get another follower. Come on. People keep dying. Boss fight time. I'll try and remember to do a prediction this time. I won't scam. Oh, that's kind of cute. If I ever have like my own property, I don't know if I'm gonna like garden too much. 
Like, if I was, like, rich rich, <clears throat> I definitely would, like, hire, like, a landscaper to, like, design, like, a really cute layout for the actual, like, property, but I don't know if I'd like maintaining the garden. Because, like, my mom and my grandma, they're both really into gardening. Like, my grandma, she volunteers at her local, like, community garden basically every day. <laughs> and she's been doing that for the past 20 years. But you are ri not rich. Even though I have two laptops and... No, I literally... Kid shatters. I literally... I literally have two dollars in my bank account. <laughs> It's because, like, I get my Twitch payouts once a month, and it fucking sucks because I have to, like, work around it. So I have $2 in my account until... I switch to the sword. Until... Because Twitch payouts process two weeks into every month, so February 14th on Valentine's Day! But don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't feel bad. Welcome in, Kobobo. Peace out to yo. Hope your weekend went well, hun. Yeah, Hacker finally has a Sunflower match. Now they actually have Flat in this channel. Oh, fuck. Oh my god! I think out of all, every enemy in the game, I hate those little blue bats. Their movements are so unpredictable. But this sword is pretty nice. There we go. Richer than me? True. True. We're all broke. All we are all broke bitches. Okay, let's see. A projectile that shoots black inker on landing or knocks back and freezes enemies. Hmm. What do I have now? Oh, I have the tentacles. I'll keep the tentacles. Prediction! <laughs> Got a gamble. I know we'll be, I've been streaming less, so you guys gotta make points somehow, right? Um, there you go. Everybody go gamba, go gamba, go gamba. Ooh, my next hit is gonna be crit. Oh, it's a different guy. No, wait, it's the same. No, it is, it is different. me I mean end me <laughs> I didn't even get any followers that run that was for nothing it was all for naught I think maybe whenever we play this game on stream we'll just do a warm up round in darker wood that way I get used to the combat so maybe it's actually kind of good that I'm failing. Oh my god. The outhouse isn't even full and people are choosing to defecate outside. Such uncivilized beasts they are. Oh, peace I-27, potato, rest in peace. Yo, we're gonna have to build more graves. Oh my god, there's so many. There are so many. <laughs> Let's get some more started. Pretty soon our, our town is just gonna be grave sites. <laughs> There we go. I was trying to get it lined up, but I was having some operator errors. Let's build 12 more. Did 
question to reminder if you want to join the cult you can use your channel points and we will make a character in your honor any redeemers Such a long line to get a funeral. Hmm. I can't imagine like working at a funeral. Like how awkward has has that gotta be? I, I'm thinking of jokes, but they're like way too dark. <laughs> they're like, whoa, calm down. are here seeking shelter with our cult but they are sick should we let them join yes we need followers desperately i don't care if they're sick as long as they're not old i will take them two followers very nice anybody want to join the cult any redeemers White wolf oh, or fox? Ah. Dude, okay, I walk into the living room the other night, and my sister and one of her roommates are watching B Stars. Now, I watched the show, okay? I've watched it. And I like it. I've also read some of the manga, but I am not a furry, okay? I like how the show is a commentary about social and racial dynamics. So, because my sister and then one of my roommates, they're like fucking crazy. Whenever they get home from work, they will, like, they will literally watch shows and movies until like 10 p.m. every night. So they will binge like full series in like two days because they're fucking psychotic. So they watch all of season one and two literally in one weekend. So I watched like the season two finale with them. We got plus two, minus one followers, so I think we're at... Oh, no. Well, good thing I made more plots. Dude, you better not throw up in my confession booth. Good. followers come on come on that means we need to go on another mission oh, fuck frank <laughs> it's not that i don't like cursing i think cursing is hilarious i think it's funny but it's such a crutch that i need to like not use as much And it's not like I'll censor myself when I edit videos and stuff, unless it's for like a YouTube upload. 
but I definitely need to tone it down a bit. You did it! Surely are you, you are without flaw. I am grateful, great leader. Of course, I am great. one more follower then we can finally enter cradle deep i guess <gasps> oh fuck another guy died come on come on now we need two more what are the odds Surely we'll get enough followers this time. With another hammer. Down to half a heart, all enemies will be dealt three damage. I'll take a heart right now. I'm gonna need it. Whoa, that was crazy. I took it, but I got three guys at once. Holy. Welcome in. Wait, Mac, did you always have a sunflower badge? Fuck! I was looking! Did you get that since the last time we've seen you? You got the sunflower too? Ain't no way! But congrats. We had two people get sunflowers today. Crazy. Yeah, we heckin' love Amazon Prime subs. Today's your first day back to class. Oh, yeah, because winter break. Lucky you got a fucking mu freaking month off. How was- how was classes? Was it okay? Oh my god, that's such a long way to get followers. Excuse me. Hmm. Which way is better? Probably better to get items. It feels nice to be back. Yeah, I agree. School can be boring. But it does give you a little bit more structure in your day today, you know? A pile of hay. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's the one thing I do miss about, like, traditional school. Is that you have somewhere to be. Because I like the convenience of online, and also... You have, like, ways to use resources, you could say. That you would not be able to use in a traditional classroom. Wink, wink. <laughs> but, um... I think I would succeed just as well if I had, like, a traditional classroom. Okay, curses consume 25% less fervor or overall weapon damage increased by 1.5. I'll take the consume less fervor. I want to try that out. Because if we're going to get to a final boss room, then I probably will need more fervor. But I discovered this local, like, bubble tea drink shop that's a few blocks away from me. I can't share what it is because it's a local place, so they don't have, like, chain locations, so... I can literally never leak what it is, but it's just like a little hole in the wall shop. But their shit is so good. And I remember I went in one day and like the worker was super nice. And I was like, oh my god, you were like amazing and great. Let me fill out the survey. That way you can like get a compliment from your manager or some shit. And then they're like, okay, that's cool. And then I went back in again and the same worker was there. But when I tried to fill out the survey, the link didn't work. And I was like, fuck, that sucks. And then that same worker was there. I was like, hey, I tried to fill the survey, but it didn't work. And I was like, do you have a manager available so I can like put in a good word for you? And they were like, actually, I'm the owner. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was crazy. Parents, they, they look like they were like middle-aged, like young, like early 30s, right? But I, I was clueless, because usually you don't really see like the owners working in the shop. Okay, now that I think about it, Imagine that setting up Yeah, imagine. But thank you, Mac. Thank you for the resub. Can we get some wax in chat? The TTS worked, right? Now we have TTS for resubs only. Um, they usually are behind the scenes, yeah. But you don't often see them, like, actually in the stores, right? But I was like, damn. And, like, they were actually, like, really good at making the fucking drinks. Because usually, when you think of, like, an owner or a franchisee, they usually, like, work in the office. They don't really, like, work behind the counter or, like, make the food. Like, you ever watch, like, the Gordon Ramsay shows? And, like, the owners don't even know how to, like, fry an egg. It's kind of like that. So I was, like, I was genuinely impressed. And they have some really good drinks, too. They are pretty dead. Um... I was gonna say, well, they're smart enough to invest their money, but honestly, they probably got the money through generational wealth, so they're honestly not smart. They're just lucky. Okay. Uh, I'll take the sword, because I hate the hammer. New follower. Ooh, that, that guy was, like, swinging out the jump. Ooh, wait, you guys see that shit? I ricocheted the arrow. Holy. That was crazy. Oh, there's more. Come on. Yeah, piece I do gas. The only thing I'm kind of concerned with, with my new lack of schedule, you could say, that we talked about last week, is that the Twitch, there's an algorithm for notifications. It's not really clear what it is, but the main consensus is once you kind of break your, your routine or your schedule, even if you go live at a different time than you normally do, then a lot of users don't get the push notifications through the Twitch app. So, that's why I feel like in the upcoming weeks and possibly months where I don't have a consistent schedule, we're gonna have, like, less live viewership, which is fine. It's fine. It just means I'll get, um, a quarter of a penny less in ad revenue. Um, 
but that's my only concern. So like I said before, the best way to see if I'm live is to follow my Twitter. Because I, I decide I usually do temporary go live tweets. And then just have regular Twitch notifs on. But Twitter notifs are more reliable, so. You also get more bonus channel points if you watch more consecutive streams in a row. So if you miss a stream, you get less channel points. Sad. But you know, it'd be like that. Stats next semester? Damn. I don't think I'd ever enjoy a stats class. I like math, but I don't like Ooh, what is this? Oh, is this the weapons room? The sword tanking from the ceiling? I literally never noticed that. It is. Oh my god, I'm I, I'm actually clueless. <laughs> okay, a hammer and axe or another hammer. What the fuck? Ooh, chance to heal the wielder. Or summon a ghost. I'll keep my ult. You know how I was like shitting on my coding class that I'm taking? I'm actually kind of liking it. So I think maybe after I graduate, or maybe on the side, I'll just try and load learn like different coding methods on my own or take like a class like just on my own time i think it'd be very cool are we using python um we're using dreamweaver through adobe we're learning basics of html and css it gets harder yeah i know i know Ooh, i'm gonna switch to this one but i feel like it'd be good to learn because imagine how sick it would be if I could make my own website from, like, bare bones. I think that'd be cool. Because I think being able to say that you've made everything yourself is a really cool thing. You could say it's beautiful, almost. Okay, prediction time! Will I beat the boss this time? Surely. Go Gamba. Gamble all your channel points. I have three hearts and a sword. Oh, I've never used this all before. part of the game no no because in order for me to unlock the final world i need to get more followers i think right now we should have 11 but i need 12 what would you do with the website um i basically want to make it like a a kind of portfolio and then also a shop website so i want to like, list whatever paintings I have, and then paint your other art pieces I've made. Damn it, I got close. That ult was actually pretty cool. Okay, any redeemers? Anybody want to be a new follower? Redeemers? Oh, their body has decayed. <laughs> Oopsie. Yes, I would... <laughs> I'm literally clueless. I'm clueless, okay? There's obviously a lot that I have to learn. But 
I feel like it'd be very cool. Or just like learning how to make my own assets and then importing them. Because in Adobe XD, you can import shit. I can make the database. Are you trying to make me hire you? When I have no money? <laughs> I'll consider it. I'll consider it. Any coders in chat? I mean, I honestly will probably just use, like, a website hosting place. Like, you know, Squarespace, that type of jazz. And then once I, like, fully learn or can afford to, like, hire, like, a programmer or some shit, I'll, like, do so. I need 10% of all commissions? What if I don't do commissions? Easy. <laughs> okay, Kobobo's chat color is purple. Ooh, let's do this lavender. We don't have any purple chatters. Cute. <laughs> Squarespace sponsor? Imagine. Oh, wait, you look kind of pink. What the fuck? Any pink chatters? If you came in into the scripted ad, I'd chuckle. <laughs> I mean... I did say... If I'm ever offered a sponsor, I'd only take it if I genuinely like the product. And I got compensated appropriately. Sell your soul for Shadow Legends? No. The reason why I don't like sponsorships, for me personally, is because it's exploiting your audience to an extent, and it's riding on the hope that your audience quote unquote loves you enough to spend their hard earned money to buy a product that the creator did not make, that they only get a very small commission, if even for pushing the product. So to me, a sponsorship only makes sense if you have a large platform. Because you can have like, a manager, or you are able to negotiate yourself better terms to get a like a baseline fee to show the product and a commission. Have any sponsors ever reached out to you? <laughs> no, no, I'm nobody. I'm a who megalo. I have 600 followers on Twitch, 3k on TikTok, that's fucking nothing. That's nothing. Uh, <laughs> so no. And I don't necessarily want any. Because... Don't, don't say Sag, don't feel bad. Because with somebody my size, I would never get a baseline fee. It would only get commission. They do offer sponsorship programs through like Streamlabs or Stream Elements, but a lot of them are commission. Meaning, um, a sponsorship that they usually always have is Raid Shadow Legends or HelloFresh. And the way those work is you just get commission. So for some programs, you can get up to $25 per customer sign up, but then those subscription services, they are making for HelloFresh or any meal prep service. Even if you get like a $25 commission, that company that is selling the actual product, they're making literally hundreds off of Po or possibly hundreds off of one transaction from your audience. So it's like, you have to think about the morality behind it. Um, HelloFresh has been known to do union busting, which is bad. Bad. Okay, that's very bad. So I will... I will probably not take a HelloFresh sponsor. Um, that's just my personal choice. Because I think it's important, if you're going to promote a product... Um, to your audience, you have to think about the actual company and the people behind the company that you're promoting. You have to think about whether the product itself is ethical. 
that's why the whole controversy around like crypto gambling was very was a hot topic because people don't necessarily understand that yes you are getting a big cut from the sponsorship but at what extent of your audience like you have audience members who may sign up and lose potentially hundreds or thousands of dollars because of this quote unquote service or entertainment that they chose to purchase because you encourage them to at one point it's ethical exactly that's a very hard dynamic that you have to learn over time and i think it's important to look at the deeper meaning behind everything that you do crypto's the future bro <laughs> mac crypto bro arc <laughs> i don't crypto is bad it's basically gambling even the stock market stock market itself the traditional is gambling but there are safeguards in place to where there's like insurance and shit where you won't lose everything that you invest um Anyway, it's a very complex thing that I feel like a lot of people go into, like, sponsorship deals and don't know what they can get out of it. I would donate to you on crypto. Uh, you can also donate to me through my TTS link. Wowie. Ooh, I got a dagger. Because, like, if you think about it, any other celebrity who has to do like a sponsorship deal, they probably get paid a lot more than creators do. And you know why? It's because creators feel like they're worth less. Like, I've seen videos of people talking about how sponsors will reach out to them and they expect them to make like a one minute long video and show the product and show the coupon code. When it's like, that's probably like one to two hours worth of work and they only get commission. It's like, why not pay them like, the hourly fee to like, just even make the video right it's people are getting scammed and a lot of people because a lot of content creators they aren't from the traditional entertainment scene so they don't necessarily understand how much their work is valued okay this dagger is ass no mac don't feel like you have to gift don't feel like you have to you should only gift you if you can afford to and if you want a sketch card easy Okay, this run is bad. I have forgotten how to play with the deck. All I need is a new follower. We need one more follower. I want my card. You do have another card for December. So if you want two cards this month, you can choose to donate if you choose so. Okay. Get an extra heart or 10% chance of dealing a crit. I'll take the extra heart now because I am struggling. Ooh, another room here. Oh, fuck, I did not mean to go in here. Can I go back? Yes, I can. <gasps> hey, yo. Good thing I came back. We are going to drop a lot of subs, though, because <laughs> it is January 24th, and we got, like, I think we got, like, 20 subs on Christmas Eve, so <laughs> we're probably going to be back down to 30 subs, chatters, sad. <laughs> I don't care, though. I think it's funny. Ooh, let's see. Hmm. Peace I too. Hmm. Let's get some stone. Yeah, I don't care about subcount. The only thing I, like, kind of care about is being eligible for my Twitch payout. Meaning, out of combined subs and bit revenue and ad revenue, which is, like, nothing. I need to hit that $100 threshold. Which is usually doable for the most part. Thank you, Oilers. Thank you. Also, I gift myself so many goddamn subs that I usually... Out of- it's so bad. Because out of my usual Twitch revenues, like if I average it for the whole year, about- Like, no joke, about a quarter of my Twitch income has been myself gifting myself subs. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> so bad. 
Because I got my uh, tax return or my tax information for the year of 2022, which I've only been earning income from Twitch for 2022. And <laughs> like I said, out of all the money I made from the year of 2022, a quarter of it was from me. <laughs> so it's funny. And people say I don't do anything for my channel. You're waiting to cash out on your return. I don't make... It. It's interesting because... Um, th there are very specific ways you can file your income tax for streaming. But I'm just gonna file it as like regular income. I know some people will like list themselves as a business. But I think that's kind of cringe. Because it's like... Come on. Are you really a business if you're just sitting in a room with no employees? It just feels weird to me. Ooh, deals poison damage to enemy struck or 10% chance to deal a crit. I'll do the poison damage. So I'm just listing my Twitch income as just regular income. I'm probably not going to get any return because it's not substantial enough. Right. I can't say how much I earn, but it's definitely poverty wages. <laughs> Imagine it made you pay them back. Honestly, that's probably gonna happen because your Twitch income, you don't get taxed on it as it's distributed because it's not like a traditional like W-2. So, <laughs> I might... I might be in the negative, but I don't know. I'd have to actually like, see how to file it properly. Oh, you know what? I'm literally DOM. I just realized I got the poison power up, right? But then the dagger I have has poison damage. I'm literally DOM. I have half a heart. Yeah, Clueless. <laughs> okay, I think Clueless has to be my favorite third party emote now. It has to be. Ooh! Oh, these are alts. Damn. I'll take the freeze one, because that's cool. Okay, we're gonna do this first try. All I need is one more follower, and then we can finally do Cradle Silk. Or Silk Cradle. Oh, come on! I hate those guys so much. Oh, I forgot to summon demons. I always forget. Dipping and dodging. It's a soft way of calling somebody dumb. I know, that's why it's so good. Yes! <sighs> Finally. Oh, look, they're so sad. <laughs> what if we just leave them here? I feel like that'd be really neat. fight. There's no way I win. There's no way I beat it. Literally no way. I don't think I could ever get a nose pierce. Oh no. Oh no. Or I don't think I could get any piercing out. I'm too scared. I'm a little wimp. That was close. Ooh. 
deals significantly more damage than mortal weapons. I'll take it. I like the dagger, but I like the hand swords more. Just makes your eyes water a little bit. Well, I'm, I have come to learn I am very sensitive and I'm also very expressive. Meaning, I will cry at the littlest things now. And I never- okay, it's not that I never used to do this. Um, immune to poison or increase curse damage. I'll increase curse damage. Because when I was in elementary, I would cry over the littlest things. Like, if... Um... Like, if somebody was mean to me, I'd immediately cry. And I, I learned over time, it's because... I didn't know how to express myself properly, so I would just cry because I would get frustrated because I don't know how to say how I was feeling. Ooh, boss fight time! Prediction! So, now as an adult, when you have to live that type of way when you're young, you don't necessarily know how to communicate properly. So even now I cry. <laughs> Or if I'm like really, really happy to see somebody, like a friend who I haven't seen in a bit, I will cry. I'm a little bitch. Chatters, go Gambit. Do you think I'll beat the boss this time? I do have one and a half hearts, but I do have a good weapon and a good alt. Everybody go Gambit, go Gambit. Yeah, I agree. I love the aesthetic of tattoos and piercings, but not on me, I guess. Oh, I think I got it this time. Oh, there's no follower. Come on. Come on. Oh, a gold ring. I think gold rings do look cool. I did beat the boss this time. Fuck the doubters. Minus 69 points. Choose a necklace, gold, or stone. These are all kind of crummy. Actually, never mind. Let's get out of here. Okay, I think I can go back home because I should have 12 followers now. Maybe finally we can go to Silk Cradle. 10 minute run, not bad. Not bad. So we had Mac in line for redemptions, and that should be everybody who redeemed today so far. Yeah, that is everybody today. Very nice. do Wii streams, we for sure will do a me making stream. So I think what I'll do is I'll post like, I'll post on Twitter and then people can reply with a picture of themselves. I think that'd be very cool. Because if I get the Wii set up tonight, then maybe we can start doing it this week or next week. You were hyped. I know! It took a while to troubleshoot last night because I initially got the Wii set up. I was like, wow, cool. And my sister, like, erased all the data and, like, changed names that way we could, like, keep privacy and stuff, right? But then I, I literally could figure out no way to capture my TV to my laptop. So the way to capture it 
is to play Wii games on a Wii U. That way you can connect a capture card directly to the console instead of trying to capture like your TV. So now, when she, later today when I'm done with my TV, she has to like change all of the um, all the Wii U data, like change all the names and stuff. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Minus 110. I forgot that I should upgrade these houses. Can't have people sleeping in these measly tents. never played on the Wii U. The only reason I have a console is because one of my friends gave me theirs when they moved like five years ago and it's just been in my dresser drawer for years. And I was debating whether or not I wanted to sell it, but then it's like, who's gonna buy a Wii U, right? But thankfully, I kept it so now we can capture Wii gameplay. Yay! Yeah, I don't think I've I don't think I've ever, like, pirated a game. I have definitely might have watched movies, like, on my tablet or something, but I don't think I've ever... <laughs> I don't think I've ever played a game that wasn't on a console. It's because I didn't have a laptop until, like, my final year of high school, and then I just didn't, like, have time to play games. My friend gives me so much shit. Oh, because... We only have two people left to bury. My friend gives me so much shit because I bought a gaming laptop. Like, Alienware, the model I got, is specifically a gaming laptop. But I just use it for stream and then editing. And they were like, why don't you play some goddamn games? And I'm like, because I don't want to play games. I'm not a nerd. is ready to go and then we can finally finally go to silk cradle silk cradle is probably gonna be crazy I did some like casual things, but I just like playing on the TV more. Like, I definitely want to save up to get a Steam Deck one day. I like the idea of playing some things handheld, but I definitely will have more fun playing on my TV. Because since my friend got me Pokemon for Christmas, and, like that's just how I end my day. Like I play Pokemon and then I fall asleep in my bed. It's pretty chill. Can I not fit any more? Oh, I can fit one more. Oh, someone wants to talk to me. 
Oh, well, well. The leader. I'm in love. But the Arbre doesn't know I exist. Would you gather 10 flowers for me from Darkwood so I might woo them? Dude, I literally spent an hour and a half in Darkwood and now you're fucking telling me. Huh. Cool, Bobo. Literally D-U-M. <laughs> no, they're not D-U-M. They're clueless. <laughs> I just realized I could have bought followers this whole time. I forgot this guy was here. I just wasted an hour and a half of dungeon when I could have bought three followers. I'm literally rich. I have $4,000. Literally pay to win. I'm sorry. Dude, I can't. I can't. I'm sad. Megan is glued. <laughs> True. Oh no, somebody died. Too bad. Go home, cry, dad. <laughs> sorry, I'm checking Twitter because I'm addicted. Anyway. Okay, let's see what Silk Cradle looks like. Oh no, of course somebody died. I'm buying a follower. I don't care. I don't care. 50 bucks minus 50. Oh, they have a scar. Look at them. They're so unique. <laughs> don't eat them all at once. <laughs> Any redeemers? Anybody want to be Scarface from Batman? Wait, that's from Batman, right? I don't do superheroes. Oh, and they have like nicked ears too. It, Scarface is Batman, right? Or is it Spider-Man? I need to look it up. It's, I don't either fuck. I wanna play Pokemon. Should we do Pokemon for sub elite? But then you guys will give me shit. Uh, Scarface. <laughs> yeah, Scarface is an American crime drama. <laughs> Scarface. Bat is not Batman. We know, wait. Oh, yeah, it's it's literally it, Scarface literally has nothing to do with superhero shit. I'm clueless. <laughs> You'll be nice, says you. Okay, let's quickly, let's quickly go to Silk Cradle finally. And then I'll end stream. Ooh, I'm scared. This one does not look. This one is gonna be difficult for sure. Oh, holy. Everybody, peace, I do pray. First look at Silk Cradle.
do the music. This gives me Hot Topic vibes. Oh, okay, so those orbs just stay stationary. I was waiting for them to launch. Oh my god, oh my god. Spiders. Not at all. Okay, curses consume 25% less fervor or deals poison damage. Poison damage is always the right choice. Okay. I got so annoyed with my sister this weekend. My sister, very nice. Okay, very nice. But she is so freaking indecisive. And it's aggravating to go shopping with her sometimes. Because she, she's very particular with what she wants. Okay, she's very picky. Which I can respect. It's fine. Like, you, you gotta be mindful of, like, what you choose to spend your money on. But she had, like, $60 in store credit to Hot Topic that expired on Sunday. So, like, we were like, oh, we need to spend this today. So, we literally walked her- oh! <laughs> Shamura. He waits by the rocks of the darkened sea. At the foot of the- fuck. He waits by the rocks of the darkened sea. At the foot of the long, sudden rock. Within the maw of pointed teeth beast, the stutter of the heart then stopped. He was the fifth. The fifth bishop of the old faith. Our brother, the one who waits. Back then, he was known by the name Narinder. But as millennia wore on, he grew discontent with his role. He began to question. He was gluttonous in his ambition. And in my imprudence, I loved him. Gage? No. For it, I lost my mind. For him, he lost his freedom. Can you fathom such betrayal, Lamb? Of your own turned against you. Would you like to find out? He was the fifth. The fifth bishop of the old faith, our brother, the one who waits. Wait. <gasps> Lemon, oh no! Leader, I am sorry. <gasps> oh, you motherfucker! Oh no, should I do it? Lemon, our most unhinged chatter. I'm sorry. But actually, I'm not. Okay, right after they get hit, they attack. Lemon has died! Peace, I two, seven, Lemon. Damn. I had to do it. I couldn't escape if I didn't take care of them. I have no remorse. I did what needed to be done. Okay, poison damage goes crazy. Yeah, so she had like $60 worth of store credit. And she tried to redeem it online, but she didn't make her like loyalty count correctly, so she couldn't redeem it online. Oh! Holy. These spiders aren't that bad. They're just kind of like pecky. And there's no like pattern to how they move. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we walked around the whole store for an hour and she couldn't find anything she liked. And then there were things that I liked, but they didn't have my size. Because, okay, I'm plus size, but I'm not like a triple XL, okay? Like, I'm at most a 1XL. But they only have like 3 to 4XL, so like nothing would fit me. Okay, 10% chance of getting a blue heart. And my my sister, she's like a smaller build, so she'll spit- Ooh! Not very- Ooh. So she'll fit into like a smaller medium. So like nothing they had available in store was our size. So we were like, okay, well, I guess we can redeem them online. So this trip to the mall was for not. Ooh, I'll choose to follow him. A bat? Cute. Yeah, I don't like wearing oversized shirts, like, at all. Because it just makes me feel, like, bigger. Like, I know the, the common sentiment for those who are, like, chubbier or plus size. They like wearing, like, bigger things to, like, kind of hide how they look from others. But I personally... I've never been too self-conscious about my weight. Granted, there were times where I'm like, oh, I don't like how this part of my body looks. But it, it wasn't, like, anything too severe. Like, I never beat myself up too much about it. But... Because I like how a bigger build looks personally. Like, I like... I think my favorite, I guess, body shape has to be, like, apple or pear. I think it's so pretty. Um... So when I look at myself, I'm like, oh, I like that shape. Or that, like, line definition is cool. When it's not, like, conventionally attractive. What was I gonna say? So, anyway, I don't like wearing, like, things that are, like, purposely oversized. I like tighter fits. I like skinny jeans. I like things that are, like, very tight to the body. Apple or pear. Um, look up body shapes. It, it's kind of like what illustrators will use to describe body shapes and types. Oh my god, there's so many goddamn spiders! Easy! What do I have now? Oh, I already have the poison... I have a poison tarot card. So I don't need to get this poison bane sword. A devastating melee attack that also has a chance to possess impacted enemies. I'll try this. I'll try it out. Yeah, so like even for like pajama clothes, I don't wear I don't like wearing oversized things. It just because when there's too much loose fabric, it's uncomfortable. Oh come on, it's uncomfortable to me. Because I don't like the texture of feeling things touching me. Oh my god! Over and over again. I don't like- like, you know if you wear like a skirt or- oh, fuck, I knew I was gonna die. Whatever. GG's. Like if you wear a skirt or if you wear like a baggy or a sweatshirt, or, like as you move you can feel like the fabric rub against your skin. It's kind of like how I don't like when a hair touches my face because it's almost too distracting. So I, I like tighter fits. That way I don't have to think about the fabric like touching and then untouching me, I guess. Okay, well that was a first look at Silk Cradle. It doesn't seem as bad as I thought it'd be. Definitely the spider enemies are kind of... I don't like how you can't really predict where they'll move. And they're, they're kind of like those green caterpillar looking things, but they move quicker. Oh yeah, somebody died. Sad. R.I.P. That they are. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I usually don't wear my hair down in public. I usually keep it up. Wait, missed? <laughs> I think the worst is where you wear your hair down in the car. And then you can, like, 
or for me rather, like it's super windy in the car and then you can feel like your hair like going across in front of your face, touching your ears all the time. I hate it so much. I think that's another reason why I wore my hair up all the time. Because my mom, she insisted on keeping the windows open. In the car, not at home. me the most being in public. Oh, I already did a sermon today. Huh. It's just the sounds. Because usually when I go out grocery shopping, I'll have like headsets in or something. But I went out to do errands with um, my sister and my roommates this weekend. And I was planning on going by myself, but they insisted on going. Because they were like, well, I want to see what's at the store. I'm like, okay. And I was like, if you guys are going to go, I'm going to teach you guys how to shop. And the whole time, like if we're buying pasta, because at the grocery store we go to, it says the cost of the actual box and then the cost per ounce. So it's literally easy mode to figure out what is cheaper or more expensive to buy for whatever product. So I I'd ask them like, okay, what is the cheapest like spaghetti noodle to buy? And they'd be like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm literally telling you how to fucking shop. And you guys aren't being, like, receptive at all. And it was just frustrating. And the whole time, because we went on the weekend, so it's, like, fucking busy. Because I usually try to go during weekdays, like, very early in the morning. Typically. Because it's there's, like, nobody there. And it's, like, I don't have to worry about, like, it being crowded. So I'm, like, annoyed the whole time because it's way too loud. There's, like, families going grocery shopping, so the kids are loud. There's just more people in general, so it's really fucking crowded. But it's it's just frustrating. Because I can usually be okay on my own. Like, if I can have the headsets in and, like, listen to music or something. But combined with all the noise and just my sister and my roommate being, like, fucking NPCs just following me around, not helping... And when I'd ask them, I'm like, well, ooh, what, what type of meat looks good? And they're like, I don't know. It's just like, why did you guys go? Why did you guys go? I don't know. Lamau NPCs. I didn't want to call them branded, okay? That's why I chose NPCs. <laughs> you know who else are NPCs? Non-subs. Get boomed. Okay, how much longer should we play for? Hmm... What time is it? 12.45. Because I have to do dinner prep today, and I wanted to like... Ooh, they're sleeping. I shouldn't do a confession. And I wanted to like edit before. Hmm... Maybe we'll do... How about we try and beat the first boss today? That's what we'll do. So maybe 30, 40 more minutes? Unless... <laughs> you wore earbuds at Comic Con? That's what I wish I could have done. Because I remember I already told you guys I went to the uh, convention in Oregon and then both my, my friend and I left early because we were just so overwhelmed. I feel like having heads on would have helped us both because like my friend and I that I went with are both really sensitive to sound. <laughs> so literally, if we just had headsets on, we'd be fine. Yeah, you told me that they had a choir room. They didn't have that at the convention I went to. What did you just walk into? Um, your mom and I have been together for a long time. It was bound to happen that you would find out. But welcome in, Titans. 
Easy. Unsubbed. Oh no. You would never. You would never, Tynes. I know all of you chatters want that sunflower badge. Dude, you were literally at eight months. You were literally one month away. <laughs> you were literally so close. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need demons. Yeah, but like I said earlier, I think a new schedule I want to try is I'll do a guaranteed subscriber-only stream once a week. Whether or not we hit a sub goal or not, it doesn't matter, we'll do a guaranteed sub only. And then I'll try and do normal streams for everybody Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna try. Okay, did I do everything? Yeah, we can try another run. Can we play a sub-only game? What game do you guys want to do? Because I don't want to do playing with viewers if not a lot of people will play. Thank you for redeeming Titans. You'll be the next follower. Minecraft? Oh my god. Never, never. I ain't ever playing fucking Minecraft. Mm-mm. No way. Meg is so dumb with me. Yeah, because you keep calling me Meg. <laughs> Ooh, Una's gonna be free on the Switch? Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry, yeah. I, I, I literally edited a clip talking about it this morning. And the clip was me saying, I don't like being called Meg, but I, I want my emote code to be Meg. So it's kind of like counterintuitive. Oh, this guy's scary. So it's like, what am I gonna do? To gain an extra half of hearts. Very nice. I think the only reason why I don't like Meg is because there was this one kid in school where he would just call me all the time and I would tell him to stop and then he didn't. He didn't respect my boundaries and I didn't- FUCK! I didn't like that. And whenever I hear Meg, I just think of that one kid. It, granted, we're like fucking third graders, so it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it literally doesn't matter. <laughs> but that's all I can think about. In ETS, it reads out T1 Tans 5. Oh my god, I hate everything. Holy moly! I'm trying. Easy. I think when it says my name, it says peace iron. <laughs> Which is so silly. <laughs> yeah, why didn't you put an I in your name? I hate typing out your username or like writing out with calligraphy because I, I feel like I'm gonna mess up the one. Chatters, do not ever. If you're making a new account, do not ever put numbers as letters. It's so confusing. Okay, enemies will drop two times more forever or overall weapon damage increased by 1.2. I'll do weapon damage increase. Oh, why? Oh, I should buy a tarot card. Just so I can at least get to the end today. Come on, give me something good. Okay, when attacked, 10% chance of negating damage or fervor replenishes fully when entering a new combat room. I'll take the 10% chance of negating damage. You're welcome to do Titans. But that's not true. <gasps> Ain't no way! Thank you for that gifted sub. I appreciate that, Titans. Let's see who got it. Oh, Banana Bro. I, I was editing a VOD and they were chatting. But thank you. Thank you. Can we get some 
white dins in chat. Thank you, Dai Dins. But thank you. You are gonna get your name written at the end of stream. Holy. Just do Titans this time? Okay. You might have to remind me. Imagine it in Whitens in the book. I feel like that would be a bad look. Because since I post the pages on Twitter, that'd be like for everybody to see. Active Nintendo Switch Online users can download and try the full Uno for free. Until 129. Hmm. That means we have five days. this run into is that there's less rooms with spiders. It seems like there's more rooms in general, but more like normal enemies. Is your brother single? What? Mods? They keep bringing over. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, diseased heart damages everything on screen when hit. Hmm, what do we really need? I don't. We don't really need a follower right now. We don't need it. It'd be cool. We do need more Twitch followers, of course. We can never have enough of those. Have we seen the voice mod accounts on Twitter? No. I have not. I don't really go to Twitter for, like, entertainment. I usually go for news. Which is kind of bad. <laughs> I usually only go to like TikTok and YouTube for entertainment. Do 20% more damage during the day. I usually don't go to my trending tab or for you tab on Twitter. Because I just like to go to see what the people I'm already following are doing. I hate how they have, like, suggested feeds. Like, when Instagram introduced a suggested post to, like, their normal feed, it, I got so upset. Because <laughs> it's just, like, I don't want to see posts of people I don't give a fuck about, you know? Oh, on my Twitter, I sort everything by most recent. I don't do suggested posts at all. Easy. What do you think of Hassan's haircut? It's fine. I will miss the long hair. It doesn't look good. <laughs> it doesn't look good. Mm hmm. 15 damage? Holy! I think I'll take the tentacles because the current curse I have- wait, let's see what it is. Yeah, I have to get very close. This one. Let's see what it does. Ooh! Whoa, that is crazy! I should not waste it. That was the most emotion Megan has ever showed. Have you not seen 
a Mario Kart DLC blind react stream, huh? Okay, reveal the map or gain an extra two hearts. I'll take the two hearts. I have a lot of health right now. There is no way I lose. Ain't no way. Oh, shit. I thought I was done. Okay, I'm getting better at the spiders. I wanna buy more storage for my PC despite not needing it. You sound like a hoarder, but like the inverse hoarder where you don't have enough things, but you have infinite space. So I would say don't buy it. Somebody stop me, um, don't do it. Easy. Oh, come on, I just missed him. Easy. Okay, these spiders aren't that bad. <gasps> no way. Ain't no way. The boss room is right here. I have so much health. Okay, everybody go gamba. Do you think I will beat the boss? This is my first time seeing the first boss of Silk Cradle. So go gamba. Do you think I'll beat it first try? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Go gamba. Okay, he can shoot from mine. Got it. Got it. Come on, come on. I have so much health. Oh, I forgot to dodge. Great. Okay, what is kind of nice is that when they fall on the ground, they do get stuck in the ground. Oh, come on, come on. Easy. First try, baby! <laughs> Easy. We had no believers. Come on. Come on, dude. <laughs> that was so easy. Are all the other levels gonna be insanely difficult now? Sad. Oh, they're a spider. Look at them. They're so cute. Ooh, should I take beets? What are those called? Beat root. Follow reform. I'll take the follow reform. Because those are harder to get. Ooh, are all the followers from this world going to be bugs? I love bugs. What's it called? The people who, like, preserve bugs and put them on display. What are they called? I think those, that hobby seems cool. Let's go home. I have done what I needed to do. I have defeated the first boss in Silk Cradle on my first try. Easy. 10 minute run, not bang it. Am I still on easy mode? I put it back on normal, right? <laughs> You guys saw me put it back on normal earlier. I know I did. Let me check real quick. Maybe I didn't save properly. Okay, it is normal. It is normal. I'm not I'm not coping. Why don't we have a PSA 2 clap? Oh 
bayan mo. Fell up ka ng bayan mo. Oh, folklore. I think next to that we had Titans. I think a clap emote would be good. But I don't I don't have another animated slot and I want it to be a sub emote. Welcome in, Titans. May peace be with you. Ah. Oh, see, like, on screen, it changes. It's like a turquoise blue now. What the fuck? Huh? Oh, the way that Twitch emotes work is you have a limited amount of animated and then a limited amount of still emotes left. So there are separate amounts you can have. So it's not like I could have just 10 animated and no still. In order for me to unlock more animated slots, I need to get partner. It's dumb. It's actually DUM. Oh my god, all these are gone. It would be cool if they had more, like, tiers. Because in order to... When you're an affiliate, in order to get more emo slots, you have to have X amount of sub count. Someone partner Megan right now. Yeah, mod check Twitch staff. <laughs> Anybody want to pull some strings? <laughs> but, um... So in order to get the max amount of animated and still emote slots, you have to get 50 subs. Which not a lot of affiliate channels hit. So I am thankful. Or, I mean, like, hit in a timely matter. Or, like, at once. Oh, I should do a sermon? And I don't even know if there's any real benefit to being a Twitch partner nowadays. Because there's no incentive. Because before, you could work towards getting a higher, um... Percentage of sub-revenue. But they took away that. Remember during like summer of this past year, it's very hard to get a partner exclusivity contract, meaning you would only stream on Twitch. It's and wasn't it also announced at the same time that partners, unless you have a signed contract, you can stream to other platforms. That's why you see some streamers like Small Ant or Point Crow, they're streaming to YouTube as well. So it's like there's no real incentive besides just having a badge next to your name. And I guess the notoriety of saying, ooh, I'm a Twitch partner. But in actuality, even a Twitch partner doesn't have substantial enough of a platform. Like, um, for example, this is a public uh, clip that Scootish reposted from his stream from the other day. But he was showing his ad incentive. Ad incentive is basically, if you commit to Twitch that I will stream this amount of hours and run this many ads every hour, you will get this baseline price every month. So Scootish, he's a partner streamer. He's averaging like 150 viewers now, which is crazy. He's seen a lot of growth in the past year. But his ad incentive, I thought you weren't allowed to do that. Well, you kind of aren't, but if people do it, then oh well. If you have an established platform, then Twitch doesn't really care. They're not going, they're not going to ban you. I will never say my share. <laughs> Twitch staff, I will never say my <laughs> obligations. I will never say it. Um, but if you have an established platform and you make decent money, then Twitch will not do anything because it'll hurt them more, right? Anyway, so Scootish is in the clip that he posted. His ad incentive for running three minutes and streaming 40 hours a month was $20. Isn't that crazy? 40 hours, 3 minutes. So 100... Oh, fuck. Yeah, so 120 minutes worth of ads only to get $20 is kind of sad, IMO. To think somebody who has, like, partner numbers is only getting $20 ad incentive is very sad. Not sad for the creator, but sad that it's so little. 
And like even, you know, Kat Leante, she's had similar added scented deals as well. And she's partner numbers as well. So it's just kind of like, it just doesn't seem like Twitch is doing enough to monetarily compensate their creators. And it's very sad because when I initially heard about the ad incentive program, I was genuinely excited. I was like, damn, I can get like ad incentive as a non-partner channel. That's cool. That's epic. Because during the beta, they offered it to some like mid-sized affiliates, so people who average like 50 viewers. So I was trying to work towards that. But then when I saw that people who are partner and they're only getting a 20 to $50 incentive, that's like a spit in the face, honestly. It's kind of like you are telling people to stream 40 hours only to give them 20 bucks that's like poverty less than that's like less than poverty slave wages okay so it just feels icky like i know i still have to run ads i know a lot of non-affiliated channels don't run as many ads as i do but i still do three an hour because that's what i have to do that's what my um, affiliate agreement was. Okay, why can't I place this fucking thing? Okay, there we go. Because let's say, for example, Megan does get a decent ad deal or whatever. I want you guys to get used to three minutes. Is it even possible to make money on Twitch without viewers dropping money on you? No. No. Because since Twitch... Um, it, it's unfortunate. Let, okay, let's pause here and save because I beat the boss. I did what I wanted to do. Let's do just chatting and calligraphy. Let's save. Um, the way that Twitch is formatted, since it's live content, it's very heavily reliant on the dynamic between the streamer and the creator or the audience. So that's why a lot of income does come from subscriptions or bits. There are definitely ways to encourage people to donate more so. Because, you know how when you watch a YouTube video and they have, like, a join button for subscribing to the channel? Or, like, a donate button for, like, super chats? Not a lot of people do it. Because that's not what YouTube is known for. But Twitch is known for donations. There are so many clips where people will farm TTS or get massive subs. And those are the popular clips that normies will know. So, that's how people know that streamers get their revenue. So then people will contribute to those means more so. That's why a lot of creators will get shit when they run ads because Twitch isn't known as a site that promotes ads as the main means of monetization versus YouTube where everybody has known for years that ad revenue is the main YouTube source of revenue for YouTubers. So that is why um, that is the dynamics of the platform, right? Um, yeah, I think that's the best way yeah, exactly, like gifting on TikTok. It's it's just how the dynamic of the platform and what the baseline audience knows already as the main form of income for a creator. Yeah, TikTok live money is not good. I think I have like $2 that I can cash out when I hit $100. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, let's get some music on. <laughs> um... I think it's important to be transparent about things, but you can't just share specific numbers or specific income cuts or shares. Oh, before we do calligraphy, chatter, chatters, um, we are doing a Mario Kart tournament on Sunday. Oh my god, hi Crystal, people, hey. It's su Sunday the 29th. Oopsie, I'm brain dead. I did the wrong date again. If you get top three, you get VIP. Wowie, holy moly. This will be Sunday at 10 a.m. Lobby officially opens at 11. Holy moly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My default tab for um, Windows Explorer is like a news tab, and I just saw the funniest headline. <laughs> Low Mao Kick W. Should we listen to more Club Penguin music? That actually went kind of crazy.
I'm changing the title, don't worry. Calligraphy time. Yeah, imagine I get top three this month. I'd go crazy. Oh my god, what's this? Ain't no way. Are these the portrait sketch cards? <laughs> if you want a sketch card for yourself, all you gotta do is gift five subs by the end of the month. Let's see, we have Mac. We have Mac, Hacker, and Titans who are close. Any gifters? Yeah, I had to show. <laughs> I'm truly. Okay, if you're new here, which you shouldn't be because this is so bully, if you donate to the channel or use your channel points, I will write your name. I also have lots of colors now. I have to consult the Bank of Titans? Yeah, me too. My budget is lower for the month of January. Because I have to buy props- or not props, but I have to buy things for Valentine's streams. <laughs> no, I have to- no, Chatters, do not ever feel obligated to donate. Don't ever feel like you need to. But I will appreciate anything that people do donate. A gentle reminder. You can use your channel points and I'll write your name too. I don't think we've had anybody redeem rainbow yet today. So if you want to see your rainbow, or name it rainbow, use your channel points. Somebody usually swipes it up right away. Thank you, Mac. Okay, I gotta get my pens. Also, while I get my pens, what is that? Is that a new painting? Ain't no way. Um, peep the pin message. And <laughs> I don't know where to point. Peep the pin message and go watch the speed painting. Go like it, go leave a comment. That'd be great. Yeah, wow. I love that you decorate your room with your own stuff. I only do that for stream. Literally, if I didn't have a stream set up, I would have nothing on the walls because seeing stuff on the walls has shadows at night and it scares me. So when I sleep, I face away from that wall. That way I don't see the shadows from the paintings. Um, if I sell my paintings, would you buy one, type one? I'm such a narcissist. I'm painting of myself. Yeah, you are a narcissist. Two, I'm broke. We'll do a giveaway. We'll for sure do a giveaway for a replica. Because I like the plan for the art channel. Um, if you like art, go follow my art social media. I have separate accounts for everything. Um, what was I going to say? Mint. Hi, Slavion. Mint, thank you for choosing a custom color. But welcome in, hon. I was going to say, I'm, I'm going to make, like, the original paintings, and then I think... I'll make up to like five copies of an original, meaning they'll just be replicas, not prints, because they'll still be like fully fleshed paintings. Because I, I expressed before in the past that I don't want to do prints, because I think prints kind of take away from the, I guess, purpose of physical art. So I think I want to make replicas. I drew in so late. Don't worry about it, hun. Don't worry about it. You know, we here, baby. Yeah, don't leak too much, Titans. Don't leak too much. 
Oh, because it's snow? Okay. Phew. Phew. <laughs> Say, I get scared whenever somebody says school got canceled. I'm like, uh, uh oh. Okay. I'm okay. I graduated 2017, right? So six years ago at this point, basically. And there was once a B O M B threat at my school. Like somebody left a note, like on the ground at school. You're mad old. Shut the fuck up. You're you're like. I was gonna say you're. I think you're three years younger than me. <laughs> low mow, low mow. Um. Anyway, so like somebody left like a paper note at school, and then like the custodian found it of the morning of, but um. So they didn't cancel school. They just sent an email to all the parents. They were like, "Hey, this happened this morning. You can go to school if you want. All the staff are going to school." But it's like, if that shit happened today, like six years, like today, they would have canceled. They would have done like full lockdown and shit, right? But six years ago, mass shootings weren't popping off as much, and it sucks because I I need to talk and write, talk and write. Um, I feel so bad for the current generation of school kids because not a lot of them have grown up. Obviously, all the Zoomers are past the 9-11 era. Um, and not a lot of them have lived in a world where mass shootings weren't a major concern. So it's like, I can't imagine living in that uncertainty or unease at all times like it's mind-boggling to me that national legislation isn't doing enough to end it obviously the only way to mitigate the amount of mass shootings is to compensate all firearms but that's never fucking happening because american individualism will not allow that to happen without probably another insurrection because the fucking Republicans are DUM. Um. Yeah, the kids who make fucking jokes about mass shootings are literally brain dead and they should be punished. Because it's like, there are things you joke about, but then it's obviously like, that's something you don't ever joke about. Like, if you're joking about like, does that joke, the punchline is, ooh, I'm gonna kill people. Huh? How <laughs> do I defend myself? Well, actually. <laughs> they do background checks? Bro. I remember the PTA was like advocating for like metal detectors, and that's as much that our district did when I was in school five years ago. You don't need firearms to defend your ass? Exactly. I think what a lot of people don't understand the fucking gun nuts is that. In order for you to justify self-defense, like, you have to kill somebody. And I don't think a lot of people realize the weight that action actually is. Like, I don't, they just don't get it. They're, like, um, people who are in the military, people on the police force, they are trained in trauma. They're in how to, like, desensitize themselves to the idea in the action of taking a life but the normal public they don't have that training they don't understand the severity and the weight to it and you a lot of times you're gonna freeze like i fucking hate the people who say oh i need open carry that way i can kill a mass shooter myself but then it's like you genuinely think you're gonna act appropriately in the moment you don't think you're gonna run away like a little bitch i don't know Every school near me has clear backpacks? That's crazy. I remember that was being, like, murmured about. It is wild to think that that's actually happening. Like... It, it's very sad that those are the lengths that the general population has to go through when there's a much easier solution, right? There's a much easier solution. And... Even with all those safeguards in place, those are, like, okay, talk and work, talk and work. I told y'all, I went to the DSHS office to, like, apply for food stamps, right? Um, and I was getting overwhelmed, because it was very crowded. 
it was a small building as well. Like, there was probably like... Probably like 150 people in there. And I was getting scared. Because... All I could think about... Was what if somebody comes in with a firearm? That's literally all I could think about. And... As I was sitting, like, waiting... I had just been there for basically two hours. Um, as I was sitting and waiting, I was like, what do I do? I was like, where can I hide? What can I grab to throw if I need to? It's like, there, there was only one exit. One exit. Which was the... Because all the other doors to get to the back rooms are obviously locked and you need a key code. So it's like... It's very scary for me that that's like an immediate thought that I have. <laughs> to the back rooms. <laughs> but, um... And I remember, like, after an hour of sitting, I heard a scream. And I think it was just somebody, like, having an episode, which is fine. Um, there are a lot of people who go into uh, clinics that have episodes, and that's fine. But, um, like, I heard somebody, like, scream. Like, at the top of their lungs. And I got so fucking scared, because I thought something had happened, right? Um... But they were, they were just having an episode, and security, like, helped take care of them. Um, but it's, it's very sad that people live in the fear that it can happen anywhere. And especially with the, I think a lot of people will tend to look at the motive of a mass shooting, like, whether it be, like, racially motivated or, like, some dumbass white kid who had a bad day. The cliche joke. But, um, a lot of people aren't looking at the main reason as to why they happen, and it's because the accessibility and the ease or how easy it is to get a firearm, even if there's different legislations for every state, that's not gonna mitigate or stop somebody from crossing state lines. It is so easy to travel domestically. It is so easy to bring over weapons from other states. And it's very sad that people aren't focusing on that reason. That is the main reason why mass shootings will always be a problem no matter where you live in the United States. It, it's... It's sad. Anyway! Good luck every time! It's very evident. I know. I I totally understand what you're feeling, Savion. Like, like, I'm not... I, I don't... Okay. <laughs> That's a nice way of saying it. I don't think I look fucking gay, okay? <laughs> but I can only imagine how scary it is. Like, um, like if you're like if you look more queer or if you're like with a partner in public it's it's sad because like i've talked to people about it who are queer and who have that lived experience or who who are in like relationships as a queer person <laughs> sorry i don't know why i'm laughing it's just the way i'm wording it. it's i'm trying to be as like clear as i can but nobody should live in fear of someone's outward actions of their prejudice. Meaning, I think people should conduct themselves however they like, as long as it's appropriate. Like, I don't want to see no fucking ass cheeks, okay? I like them, but I don't want to see. Um. But nobody should feel entitled to act begrudgingly or prejudice in public. Nobody should feel safe to act that way. Okay, anyway, thank you once again, Titans, for the gifted and Mac for a nine month resub. Enjoy your badge.
is the sunflower the highest thing? No. Because <laughs> the highest badge I have is a one year, which is the triple sunflower. I need to think of what other badges I want to add, but nobody has a one year sub yet, so. Why did you type it? See, so you can see the badge, silly. Because I'm the only one who has a triple sunflower. I gotta get that one, yeah. Of course. Anyway, to to kind of end the topic I was talking about, I think you should express yourself as much as you feel comfortable and safe to do so. Like, nobody should ever feel like they're oppressed in that sense, but society still isn't progressed enough. People still don't have the empathy yet. So, be safe. And I think it's also important to reemphasize, you should never blame yourself if something bad happens to you. Like, it's not your fault. It's, it's the person who did the act. Because you should never think to yourself, if I dress differently or if I acted differently, then this horrible act would not have happened. It's not your fault. It's my fault. No, it's not. I think the best thing that anybody can do is try to educate the people in your direct circle, like friends and family. Because the only way to get collective change is at a smaller individual level. Hi, Tanuki. Welcome in. Hope we're doing well. I'm doing good. Oh, Tanuki, Tanuki. We are doing the tournament on Sunday. Give it a peek. Uh, we're doing blue shell only, finally. I'm sure you have a workaround. But everybody else needs to figure it out. A VIP... <laughs> yeah, Tanuki gets it every month. You go. <laughs> Oh wait, I just realized this is sub only. Tanuki probably can't hear me. <laughs> oh, Megalol. <laughs> Oopsie. Because, <laughs> like, I think for VIPs, they can chat in a sub only, but they can't necessarily hear all the time. <laughs> oh, Megalol. <laughs> Oh, you can hear me? Okay, good. The only thing that happens with Sabole is that um, you have a limited time in which you can hear. So, like, Tanuki, if you refresh your tab, you won't be able to hear shit. Okay, um, we had two people redeem. Any redeemers? Any redeemers? Okay, so Slive Down wanted mint. And then what color should I do for Mac? I kind of like this burnt orange. Hey, no way! Thank you for another gifted Titans. Oh, I went to Danuki, you're so kind. Now you can watch and type and listen. <laughs> but thank you for that gifted. Thank you. Can we get some more whitens in chat? Sub goal? Ain't no way. Holy moly. Did we actually? Oh, I, I did the wrong command. 65? Thank you! We had our sub goal today. Thank you, chatters. Thank you. Only boomers say holy moly. I think it's funny. Any color? Okay. Here's a color for Tanuki. 
I like this dark magenta. Sound like my mother? I think I'm older than most of my chatters, so... Don't say I'm your mom. Yes, I graduated 27... Ooh, this, these colors together. Kind of cool. I thought you were going to say you're older than her. I mean, I don't know. It's Livion. Lime? Ooh, okay. So that's 173. Thank you for redeeming Paul Bobo. I appreciate it. I think calligraphy is my favorite part of stream. If you agree, type one. Whoever what? Whoever idolized first? Mods ban titans. Mods ban titans. I think calligraphy is like an underrated part of stream. Because not many folks see it because it's at the very end. So, you know, only the real ones watch calligraphy. Oh no. Oh no. Looks like shit, but <laughs> I made it fit. I made it fit. There we go. We had Tanuki. I didn't space them close enough. Oopsie. Good enough? Yeah, good enough. <laughs> I'll do it better next time. Okay, chatters, this is the last name. Last chance. If you want me to write your name, you can donate to the channel or use your channel points. Last call. That is a good one, Tanuki. That is good. I can't wait to see Chris Pratt as Mario. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Sorry. I'm resisting the urge to just say 21. Okay, Chaz. I think we can end today's stream here. I think it's so funny to go British. You know, I think the important thing about life is making yourself laugh. Okay. Um, let's say I felt pretty good today because what I've noticed about my fatigue 
is that I will crash and then I need a, a day of rest and then I'm good for a few days and then I crash again. So I think I am peace I too praying that I'll be able to stream more this week. My goal, my goal. As I post, look how fucking crooked my paintings are. Oh my god. My goal is to stream for sure Sunday. I need to stream Sunday. I take vitamins every goddamn day. They don't work. I also don't go outside. Okay, anyway, so my goal is to stream tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, and then Sunday. That is my goal. So, if we can get the Wii U set up tonight, maybe Wii Week will start this week. Fog you. So look forward to that, chatters. Gentle reminder. Um, stream schedule will be inconsistent. I will try my best to do three to four days a week, but as always, make sure you have notifications turned on, so make sure that bell is turned on, and you're following me on Twitter. I usually post when I go live on Twitter, so I have notifications on there as well. Um, but yeah, today was fun. That was first. Wait, why did I say first? I'm tired. Brain fog goes crazy. I should eat something. She said, wee wee, shut up. You guys can make that joke next week, or this week, whenever we play games. Whenever we play wait. There are children here. No. You guys are all adults, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have some yogurt. Okay, anyway. I will see you guys later. Once again. Wow, look at that painting. Ain't that cool? If you want to see the video on how I made it, um, go click that link. Go follow and go like and comment on that TikTok. That'd be epic. Okay. I will see you all later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, yeah, you're from the UK, Tanuki, right? <laughs> Unless you're not, then. Uh-oh. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye, I. Bye, I. Holy moly, is that a resub? <laughs> but thank you, Hacker. Thank you, thank you. Can we get some whackers in chat? In nine months? Holy moly. Should we do a calligraphy? Should we do a calligraphy real quick? Di or Hacker, if you want me to, I'll do it real quick for you. I'll do it just for you because you are nice not anybody else nobody else gets special treatment three sunflowers no it's fine okay I'll do it another stream I'll do it tomorrow but thank you thank you okay I forgot what time I ran the ad <laughs> because I'm trying a new thing to where I run an ad at the very end of stream that way we can hang out for like two three minutes and type but I forgot what time I ran the ad Oopsie. Oh, wait, I can look at my dashboard. Oh, yeah. I also have TTS enabled for resubs now, so chatters have fun with that. One minute ago. Okay, two minutes. I'll end streaming like a minute 30. Oh my god, I just remembered. We hit 100 followers on Twitter over the weekend. Let's fucking go! Wowie, let's fucking go. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, for real now.